All right, so it's Friday night, and that means we have um, tonight and all day tomorrow and Saturday night to finish these exoskeleton legs in order to do this big test. So tonight I'm really hoping to get the main structure of the legs complete, which means attaching the cylinder to the hip mounts. So, as you saw before, so far we have the foot mount all nice, and then we have the leg piece. And then, the next piece of the puzzle is the upper leg. All right, so we made a pair of these guys, and this is just a nice big hunk of steel. And we're actually gonna weld that to the leg of the hips, like so. And what will happen is, this guy will connect to here, and it'll be able to swivel on that point back and forth to allow you to have your full range of motion. So, the current step will be to weld this onto here. Just a quick note about safety, you should always be welding with a long sleeve shirt on, preferably a leather apron, with sleeves, sorry. <laughs> because if you don't, you can actually get uh, sunburns from welding, and that's actually a UV burn, so that won't even tan. That's just bad news for my skin. Um, won't happen again, I'm gonna be wearing long sleeve shirts from now on. I do have a pair of leather uh, sleeves, I just don't know where I put them. Oh, do you think we can lift uh, 800 pounds of this? That looks pretty good. Alright, so we have the lower position, as you can see, knees are bent, shin is slightly forwards, and then you have your maximum upright position. And as you can see, the knee is still slightly bent, that's good, that means we can't accidentally break my knees backwards. Not bad. Try putting it on. Do you want to take the boots off the corner? Put the insoles back into the boots. All right, so the boots are on now. And raise the cylinders up. And maybe we should have plugged the legs. Exoskeleton assemble.
Merry Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. I've got a big announcement for you, which I'm 